Imagine a life confined to a perpetual diet of gluten-free food. Why would anyone be compelled to stick to such a regimen? Well, because of a disorder called celiac disease. Our bodies are protected against infections by our immune system, a mechanism that also defends our cells. In some cases, however, the immune system mistakenly attacks its own cells or tissues in what is called autoimmune disorder. Celiac disease, which is an autoimmune disorder, particularly affects the small intestine. The disorder is triggered by the consumption of any gluten, a general name for proteins found in wheat, barley, and rye, also referred to as the big three. When individuals with celiac disease eat food containing gluten, their immune systems react abnormally, leading to the flattening or damaging of their villi, the hair-like structures on the inner surface of the small intestine. When these structures are flattened, the absorption of nutrients by the intestines is disrupted, leading to abnormal fluid discharge, gas, and pain. Symptoms of celiac disease include diarrhea, occasional constipation, noisy bowel movements, abdominal bloating and pain, rapid weight loss, swelling in the hands and face, skin rashes, and whiteness in the nails. While atypical, 1 in 10 patients may show no symptoms at all. People with celiac disease also typically have lower levels of blood iron and B12, and anemia is observed because of the disruption in the digestive system. The cause of this disease is mostly genetic, which means it is usually passed down from one generation to the next. Celiac disease is found in one out of every 100 people worldwide, with the highest number of diagnosed patients in the US and China. The only known treatment for celiac disease is following a strict, lifelong gluten-free diet. Avoiding gluten allows the intestinal surface to heal, alleviating symptoms. Individuals with celiac disease must be careful about cross-contamination with gluten-containing foods as even small amounts of gluten can cause symptoms and intestinal damage. Therefore, it is important to read labels carefully and avoid risk of contamination.